so I'm going to move on to the middle school and rebuilding at Runlet. And, you know, we, we recognize that a number of folks have um, expressed uh, their desire to uh, have the current middle school remain on the um, site um, off of South Street. Some of the concerns that have been that we've, we have addressed, and again, it's in our deficiency report, is around the safety. Um, not only with buses and parents coming in and out, we're very concerned about safety during the construction uh, and the impact that will have on construction. Quite frankly, we feel that we'll need to have someone on site just maintaining that, um, the safety around traffic uh, during the process. Um, the other, the, the other problem that has been uh, troubling to us is the impact that we'll have on the fields. You know, the fields are somewhat limited and um, all of the activities occur there uh, on site except for field hockey, which occurs over in Rollins Park. Um, and we're concerned that with the construction, um, we will be losing those fields, partly because the school would be built on the field space Students would remain in the current facility during construction. Uh, and then after the building is built, then the building, current building, would be torn down and replaced with fields. But during that time, the concerns are the limitations it will place on the fields. Let me give you some examples. We know that we need to have uh, roadways around the building. That's uh, one of the uh, suggestions, uh, recommendations that we've received from the fire department in that we need to make sure that our, any trucks or emergency vehicles have access around the entire building, which will, um, which will cut into some of our field space. We also know that we can't bring buses in off of um, South Street where we have parent drop off, so we will be bringing them in via other roadways, and that will also have an impact on the spaces that are available at the Runlet site. After analysis by our construction folks and our architects and engineers, um, the board um, was provided the number of um, 5225000 that would co costs would be incurred greater at the runlet site than at the broken ground site. They also recognize that it would be a much longer construction time. We anticipate at broken ground the construction time would be around uh, 30 months, 30 to 36, but you know, with the runlet site, given that, that the fields and uh, the building construction and the time element, it would take up to five years to complete that project which is a disruption to our students. And um, that was a serious consideration by the board in making that decision. I, um, given the loss of fields was one of the concerns that we had. We've met with the director for recreation, parks and recreation, uh, David Gill, uh, to help us and what would be available in the community uh, to use for field space so that all of our teams and all of our outside activities, uh, where we could how where we could hold those those activities for students. So we are working with them right now to decipher any possible locations um, to have our our student activities. And remember that happens in the in the spring as well as in the fall when all of those activities are outside. One, one concern that we've had um, is during construction, the close proximity we have to our neighbors. Uh, as you know, that site is surrounded by streets with homes. Um, we anticipate that the building construction, which will occur on the fields, uh, will be as close as 35 feet to those property lines. Um, we're, we're very concerned about um, the impact that will have on our neighbors. Uh, I think that um, we need to, the board needed to think about what would the impact over the long haul um, this site have given its limitations. Uh, should the, there be future needs in our district over the, over the next 
20, 30, 40 years, uh, the site is, is very limited in terms of any opportunity to add on uh, to build um, additional um, facilities uh, to meet the needs of our student population. I think we saw that at Krista McAuliffe. I think we saw it at Concord High School where issues around parking, um, field space, uh, and generally adding on to the building is very difficult. Currently at the high school, our career and technical program houses, has, meets the needs of 750 students on a daily basis. Um, the opportunity to build out and add more programs to the technical center is limited by the site. And the board did not want to be in that same position uh, in five years, 10 years, or 20 years down the line. So uh, the concerns about limitations uh, at the Runlet site uh, continue to be of concern to them. Thank you.